I'm just going to give the floor to you now, Trent, to explain because we did not know, as as chicks in the office, as your fellow chicks in the officers, that <laughs> um, you that that the opportunity to pull Shanae's luggage was on the table. Now, of course, you did not know it was Shanae. None yeah. of us knew it was Shanae. This is the part that gets me fucking furious. None of us knew. <laughs> right. None of I us knew so we were going to be angry, is, but my 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 fists knew. are clenching. This, and the, and this and uh, this is what happened. <laughs> we have to start back at the beginning, which started a couple months ago. So a couple months ago, a bachelor producer reached out to me and said, "Hey, do you want to do the luggage pull thing again?" Mm -hmm. And I said, "Absolutely. I love doing it. It's my favorite thing." I would be more than happy to do this. And he said, great, let's set up a call. We'll talk about it, talk about where you're going, kind of, we'll work out all the details. So we did that. We did the phone call. I agreed to it. They gave me the location. The location they gave me was not Toronto. Mm -hmm. It's a place later in the season. Mm -hmm. Okay? Say it. I'm not going to say it, but it's a place later in the season. So I agreed to that. We booked the travel. We got all the dates. We got the hotel, all that. So I was ready to do that. That was all set up. And then about a week or two before I went to this mystery location, the bachelor producer hit me up again and said, Hey, there is something going on in Toronto. Yeah. Can you come here to do the luggage pull? If not, we, we still got this mystery location booked. You can come do that. That's fine. Yeah. So I said no to Toronto. And the reason was what was going on at that time was the chicks in the office live show run. Mm -hmm. We had done Boston where I was the scheduled surprise guest to come out which was great, had a lot of fun. And then the second week was Philadelphia, which you guys had Roan and Lil Sass, son of a boy dad podcast scheduled to be there. And Roan had convinced me to crash the show as a surprise guest that you guys did not know about, Correct, which, which I agreed to, to do. And I did that, it went really well, the show was really fun. And during that show and afterwards, we had a conversation about like, all right, I've now set the yeah. precedent that I'm showing up to these shows. You I done? doubled down on that. Which that is complete. Trent, you're, you gotta let, you gotta show up now. That's the most fair thing in the world. Yep. We, you had done two shows and I had showed up to two of them. So now the expectation is that I'm going to be at the next show in between the end of the Philadelphia show and the Nashville show, which was the third stop. I get the text about Toronto. Yeah. They say, will you come to Toronto? And I say, no, because I'm on this Chicks in the Office live tour, live show tour, and I'm going to be in Nashville. So it's the dates just aren't going to work for me. And I already had this mystery location mm -hmm. booked and ready to go. And they were like, yeah, if you can't make it to Toronto, go to that location and we'll be able to do things there. It'll be no problem. So I fly to this location. And that night when I get there, I have dinner with the producers. And they say to me, they say, hey there's a chance that a luggage pull is not happening where we are right now. And I'm thinking, I'm fucked. Yeah. I'm thinking, I just flew all this way. Um, I told, like I ran I ran the idea by Dave, just, I always do, mm -hmm. just to like get approval mm -hmm. so he doesn't like, I don't go somewhere and he's like, what's happening? So I told him about everything that I was doing. So now I'm in this location, I'm having dinner with the producers and they're saying, there might not be a pull. So I'm thinking, I'm screwed. I, I came all the way here, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. So we come up with a plan, me and the producers. We say, I'm not going to do a luggage pull. I am going to be an Easter egg in the episode where I'm going to be in the background of these dates. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, they'll be walking down the street somewhere and then I'll, and <laughs> Which I'll. Which is honestly very funny. It Still is. Still very funny. I agree. So I agreed to, I, we all yes. agreed. When we came up with that idea, yeah. we're like, oh, that's funny. Yeah. But it, there's also the the part where it's like I want to go and I want to do the luggage thing. Yeah, of course. Like that's you want to go, you want to do your thing. I I think that's the funniest thing. Yeah. I, that's the most fun. That's the most fun we've had with it. Mm -hmm. um, so we shot one of the Easter eggs, and then a situation arises where I can pull luggage, mm -hmm. which is just huge because yep. I'm like, all right, now we're going to be able to do the thing, and that makes this trip more worth it than just doing the Easter eggs. Although I agree, the Easter eggs that was a very funny idea. So. The situation comes up. I do the thing. Mm. I do the thing. I'm very excited about it. You did the damn thing. Right. And that's, I mean, that's, that makes it all worth it. Yep. It always does. Like, cause then I'm like, oh, this is going to be so great. We're going to talk about it again. We're going to like the whole Twitter thing's going to go crazy. And then fast forward to yesterday. Monday, February. It, it comes to my attention that they are cutting the thing that yeah. I did. Yep. They're not cutting the Easter egg part, yeah. but the actual luggage pulling situation, they are not putting that in the episode. Yeah. So 
So for us, now, hindsight, it's frustrating because we just saw what would have been the perfect luggage pull the Shanae. of Shanae's luggage. Yeah. Which could have been you but wasn't you. But you still got to do it for someone else. But now we're not going to see it. That's right. So it's just, it's just. Well, and the only it's thing. It's just like, gosh my, darn it. Yeah, my <laughs> only concern with the whole thing, honestly, is like, people are going to see me in the episode. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be like a smaller, like back, I'm going to be in the background of something. And then they're probably going it's to. It's kind of fun though, because look, now everyone knows they'll be like, it's be like, where's Waldo? That's and true. They're going to watch the episode on Monday and everyone's going to be like, all right, everyone, eyes peeled. <laughs> right. No commercial bakes, no pee breaks. We gotta wait Which is why I actually like that we decided to talk about it now. Yeah. Now, the other thing that could be happening I is that I shouldn't be talking about this <laughs> and that I'm now probably going to be never banned the from the show or they're never going to have me back on, which honestly, at this point, I'm OK with that. Yeah. Like the first one was so good. So good. In Peru. So and like good. it just it, everything worked and, and Twitter was so fun that night and it was just great. And now it's become this big thing, which I love, like being the luggage guy is just it's so preposterous. Yeah. That I, I've just been tweeting about something for five years and now it's become like we just made it into reality. But now it's like, all right, I'm going on these long trips to do it. And then maybe it's going to get cut, which I understand that's TV that happens. But it's just like. That was it was a lot to travel for it to then be cut. And now I'm going to be in the episode, but I'm not going to do the thing that people are going to expect. Yeah. So it's kind of it's a bit of a hassle. So, again, a little bit of a letdown. You really just love being the luggage guy. I do and love I it. I appreciate yeah. that about you. And it, but it's also like it's been fun. But I also really just love the show and tweeting about it. Yeah. And it's really just turned into this whole thing. And that's been a lot of fun, too. But, you know, if if it doesn't work out anymore because I'm talking about it and they're going to be mad at me about it. <laughs> That's fine too. So be yeah. But I really, I'm glad we're talking about it now because now people, like you said, Fran, people can look for it next yeah. week. But that's going to be it. Like, right. And I feel like we did, we did have to give an explanation after Mills had tweeted like we reached out, to, we wanted you to do it in Toronto. Like it's like, whoa, are we, are we just gonna? Whoa, whoa, are whoa. we just gonna? Are we just gonna act like you just said no for no reason? <laughs> right. That's true. Right. I actually you, hadn't thought about you, that. Yeah. You right. said no because you already had a luggage planned. Correct. Yes. And he did tweet earlier in the season being like we had like alluding to Trent yes. coming he and pulling luggage night on the show. one alluding that you were making your comeback to this show. <laughs> yeah, that's right as that well. That was before they decided to cut. And I, I'm, I'm like, assuming. it's not even it's not I'm not mad about it. I just I think an explanation, like you're saying, yeah, felt necessary because there was just a lot of things going on. Now I've also been told that they might send me the scene. That got cut. Yeah, they're, that, not, they're not gonna do that. That we can put out on our <laughs> socials. Now they had that conversation happened before I've been publicly talking about it for two days. Yeah. So I might not get that footage. No, I we it would be crazy if they didn't. I think they might apologize to you. I, I don't think so. I, I don't I don't think no, they'll do it, that. It would be crazy. I, I really should. don't I for the sake of like the the public promo and discussion that they get when you do this, mm -hmm. it doesn't like, it makes sense, so much sense for them to feel like if they can't fit it into the episode that, you know, is seen by millions and millions of people, then at least give you your part, which will also be seen by a shit ton of people. That's you know? true. Yeah. Because then people you're will covering, watch your Like you're covering scene. across the entire board. More yeah. people will watch your deleted scene than watch the episode. That should be the end credit thing. And I, I would least. actually put money on that. Yeah, that would be a good idea, No. If we get it. Overall, we'll, over the board, more people will watch that deleted scene than that tune into that episode next week. People watch a lot of that A lot of people watch a, that show. That a lot of people perfect. watch that show, but you can get easily a million views on that luggage yeah. poll. A lot of people watch Here's that show. Here's what they do. A lot of people watch that show, but. If we get it, we'll put it out. We definitely will. An end credit scene would have been so good. I'm thinking, yeah. like, even if what they're saying, you know, oh, you, it's, you pulled the luggage, it doesn't work now with the episode, whatever. If the if the credits ran and it was just like you putting like a luggage in the back of a car, yeah, <laughs> and then like getting into the front seat of the car and driving away, would have been very funny. It would have been very very funny. Um, you know what yeah. I think we could bank in now, lock in. Me and you are never hosting a date. Oh, I don't know about that. No, I, I, I really don't. I don't think that affects. <laughs> I keep saying that just so that they like do it. I every <laughs> time, every opportunity I can to say that we're not doing it. No, no. I think we gotta stay positive on that one. Yeah, I'm, but you would I'm, host it. 
I weirdly they'll cut probably it. cut it. <laughs> I'm weird. Yeah, they'll, yeah. It could get cut, but it, we could still do hey, it. Fly to uh, Australia and <laughs> hold it. <laughs> we're, no, we're not even it. that. We would have, we would on a host our own ep- our own date. It could still happen. I think that you could definitely know. still happen. It could still happen. Who that knows? one you never know. 